Williams for the first time in four years as the Oakland Raiders travel across the Bay Bridge to take on the San Francisco 49ers here on CBS Sports. A sellout crowd in attendance, and this crowd is fired up. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson, along with my partner, Steve Tasker. The Oakland Raiders are still looking for their first win of the season. However, last week against Cleveland, they managed to get the running game going. Yeah, and if the Raiders want to get back on track offensively, they need somebody to rally around. It looks like Lamont Jordan is going to be that guy. If he can get it going, he'll help the offensive line that's been shuffled so much in front of him. He'll also help that defense, which has lacked a chance to rest during these football games. And if he is going to be good, he'll also take the pressure off a young quarterback. Andrew Walter makes the second start of his his career. Aaron Brooks continues to be out with an injured pectoral muscle. Andrew Walters has got to be good for the Raiders to stop this tailspin. Well, the San Francisco 49ers are coming off a bad loss at Kansas City, but they have potential, and one man looking forward to turning in a, a good performance today is second-year player Frank Gore. Well, a lot of guys around the... Art Shell, the head coach of the Oakland Raiders, his team losing 24-21 to at home last week against the Cleveland Browns, looking for their first win of the season. On the other sideline, Coach Nolan. And the Niners losing 41 to nothing at Kansas City. It's a game that they want to cross out of their minds. Niners won the toss, and they've elected to receive the football. Maurice Hicks is back deep. Sebastian Janikowski sends it away. Here's Hicks starting from the six-yard line. And Hicks crosses the 25 and gets to the 27-yard line. A 21-yard return. Tackle on the play. As we see Alex Smith coming onto the field. And Alex Smith last week against Kansas City, 13 of 25, 92 yards. Let's take a look at his line. Jennings is the former Bill Snyder, Heitman, Smiley, and Harris. And the backs and receivers. Watch Antonio Bryan. He's a terrific wide receiver, and he'll look to get deep. First down and 10 at the 28. Frank Gore, the single setback. Here's Gore running straight ahead. Now bounces it outside, and Gore goes down at the 25. A seven-yard pickup. Stuart Schweigert makes the tackle. Defensively, for the Oakland Raiders, the Raiders' defense Recorded two sacks and picked off Charlie Fry two times last week. Warren Sapp, he's heading to the Hall of Fame. And the linebackers, Morrison in the middle with Howard and Williams. And in the secondary, Osamawa and a route on the corners with Huff and Schweigert at the safety position. Second down and three at the 35. And here's a handoff. Gore to the left side. Breaks it back. Gore running well. Picks up 12. Frank Gore in his second year out of Miami has fumbled once in each of the last four games. Two in the open field and two on the goal line. And he told us during our meetings that he was going to hold on to the football. Yeah, and he said he was thinking too much. And I think it's a testament to how much the Niners believe in this guy that he is still in there. You know, a lot of head coaches around the NFL, a guy fumbles once, he's out of the game. Gore fumbled four times, and he's still their guy. Moore and Norris and Gore in the backfield. Here's Gore running straight ahead, skipping. And he'll pick up a yard, yard and a half on the play. Stanford route with the tackle. You know, Gus, we talk about Frank Gore, and you'll see here some of the problems he's had. A couple of these fumbles seem to be happening on the same type of play. Up inside, very hard running. And the ball pops loose. Guys come in there diving at the football. And that's one of the times when even sometimes, Gus, when you put two hands on the ball, it'll pop out. But there's no question Frank Gore's got to get that under control. If he does, like we said in the open, he could be special. Second down and eight at the 49. Out of the offset eye, Norris. And here's Smith throwing it underneath. That's Antonio Bryant. Big catch. Down at the 40-yard line. Tackled by Thomas Howard. It's a gain of 11. Antonio Bryant leads the NFC in receiving average 22.1 yards per reception. And this is one of the guys I think that's going to make a big difference 
for this 49er team. This is a guy, Gus, we spoke to him yes, um, yesterday, and you can just tell he is enthusiastic, and he wants to be great, and he's willing to do whatever it takes. Plus, he's willing to demand his teammates be great. And that's a special guy. First down and 10 at the 40. Brian lines up at the bottom of your screen. And they keep it on the ground. Michael Robinson running the football. He gains three yards. Tackled by Tyler Brayton. You know, you talk about this young Niners team. They've got a lot of young key players on offense. And that guy there, Antonio Bryant, doesn't. You know, you talk to him, and Mike Nolan told us, you know, he'll drive you crazy during the week, but I'll tell you what, he's great to have on Sundays. He is a playmaker. He's a legitimate number one wide receiver, and I think he may be the one guy that stamps this Niner offense as something that could be very good. Frank Gore checks back into the game. Here's Smith rolling out of the pocket, throws on the run, finds Gore at the 30. And steps out of bounds. Gore doing a terrific job on the opening series. Derek Gibson ushering him out of bounds, but it's a nine-yard catch. And Gore comes into this game leading this team in receptions. Injured player Jonas Jennings, the left tackle. Looks like he may have a stinger in that left shoulder. Jonas Jennings coming over last year as a free agent from Buffalo. As you said, Gus, after that last play, Gore has been good, but I think Allen's heading into the locker room. First down and 10 at the 28. Opening drive for the San Francisco 49ers. And they look terrific. Brian Gilmore in motion. Here's Frank Gore straight ahead. And Gore holding on to that ball. Gets to the 23. Tommy Kelly with the tackle. It's a six-yard gain. And the Raiders coming into this game knew that Norv Turner, the offensive coordinator of the 49ers, would be a factor. Yeah, Norv is back in the headlines after retreating. You see him there up calling plays from up above. The Raiders know that he was going to be a factor in this game. He's so familiar with the personnel of the Raiders having been their head coach just a year ago. I mean, that's a big, that's a big problem for the Raiders, wondering what he's going to do and how he's going to affect this game. Second and four at the 22. Gore, four carries, 27 yards. Smith underneath. Antonio Bryant. And Bryant with the tackle. Stanford route jumps on his back and takes a ride. Can't bring him down, but it's a five-yard gain and a first down. San Francisco. You see there. Antonio Bryant not happy about the way he was thrown back again and again the whistle he probably thought the whistle was late But you'll see here he catches this ball right at the yard strip and he ends up With four guys jumping on his back the wh the whistle should be blown. It's a little late He's not happy about it. It could have been worse though at least he ended on his feet Jonas Jennings has a hand injury the starting left tackle for San Francisco his return is questionable and he's replaced by Tony Raggy. Second year player out of New Mexico State, 6'4, 320. Larry Allen not playing today, the future Hall of Famer. And the 49ers a little bit short. Allen with the knee injury suffered against Arizona. You know, Gus, coming into this game, the Niners had a reputation, as you see there, Larry Allen. There's a guy they'd love to have back in the lineup. But the Niners came in, and their modus operandi for the season has been that they start slow. They have not been able to get out of the box very fast. This is a great opening drive for them. And on conversely, the Raiders jumped out very quickly last week to a 21 point, or 21 to three lead over Cleveland. This is just the reverse of what you might have thought would happen. You'd think the Niners would be a slow starter, and the Raiders would come out on fire. That hasn't been the case in the early going. Third down and one at the 19-yard line. Out of the offset eye, Morris and Gore in the backfield for San Francisco. They give it to Gore, breaks it back. Look at the little guy go! Jumps forward, and he gets down to the seven. Frank Gore, stopped by Stanford route, gains 12 yards on the play. And you said a Gore knocked down. <laughs> that guy is a tough inside runner. Gore, five carries, 39 yards. Tenth play of the drive. Gore again. This time he's bottled up. Taken down. Warren Sapp. No gain on the play. And everything changes, Gus, as the Niners get closer and closer to the goal line and the field shrinks smaller and smaller. This is something I think, particularly for the Niners, that that is tough to, to focus on because 
this is where the field changes and for a young offense particularly at the skill positions you see there five TDs three field goals and 11 trips that's actually pretty good and you'd think with a young offense particularly with a new offensive coordinator like North Turner they would struggle more in critical situations like this second down and goal at the seven Norris and Gore in the backfield Arnaz battle in motion here's make that Robinson running the football Michael Robinson coming in for Frank Gore. He gains three yards on the play. And that's so crucial, Gus. If you can run the football, there's Frank Gore standing on the sidelines. And that, and it's not, it's nothing that they, unless he's injured, we don't know about it. But running backs and defensive linemen are the two things on offense and defense that you run in and out of the game. You'll have that number one guy like a Frank Gore, but you need a guy to come in and compliment him to give him some rest in situations as well, just like big defensive linemen need a rest. Third down goal at the four yard line. Here's Smith passing in the end zone. Caught! Beautiful catch. Looks like Arnez Battle scooped it off the turf. And the 49ers score on their opening drive. Very nice tight throw by Smith. Down low, no chance for an interception, and he gunned it. Watch as Battle comes in and he'll pivot and come right back down to the goal line and Smith guns it in and Schweigert, pretty good coverage, just can't get there in time. Too much velocity. That is a nice opening drive for a team that was humiliated a week ago on the road. They bounce right back. First receiving touchdown of the year for Arnez Battle. And that brings in Joe Netney to attempt the extra point. Down, up, and good. 49ers drive it all the way down the field. 12 plays, 72 yards, held it for 734, and they punch it in. 7-0, San Francisco. 49ers taking the 7-0 lead. Arnez Battle with the touchdown reception from Alex Smith. Frank Gore, though, terrific on the drive. Six carries, 39 yards. Alex Smith, 4-4 on the drive, and the 49ers send it away. Here's Chris Carr from his own two. Gets outside. Knocked out of bounds at the 25, maybe the 26-yard line. Mike Adams knocking him out of bounds after a 24-yard return. And here come the Raiders on offense. San Francisco with the lead. Raiders finally get the football. They'll start at their own 26-yard line. Raiders played well in the first half last week at home against Cleveland. Lost the game, though, 24 to 21. Charlie Fry bringing the Browns back. So first down and 10. Lamont Jordan rushed for over 100 yards last week. Here's Walter. Short drop, and Randy Moss with the grab at the 33-yard line. And it's a gain of seven. Tackled by Manny Lawson. Let's take a look at the... Oakland Raiders on offense. We'll start with their quarterback, Andrew Walter, making his second start in place of Aaron Brooks, who has a pectoral muscle, muscle uh, pull. And they've been having some problems with their offensive line. 19 sacks, Gallery Sims, Grove, and company. And the backs and receivers. Lamont Jordan, like I said, over 100 yards. And for Randy Moss, that was his first catch in the first quarter this season. Now Walter throws it out of the backfield. Jordan again. And he steps out of bounds at the 35. Defensively, for the San Francisco 49ers last week against Kansas City, the defense did not record a sack and are still looking for their first interception of the season. Ryan Young, Mr. 49er, Smith and Ulbrich, two good linebackers inside, Lawson and Moore on the outside. And in the secondary, Spencer and Walt Harris, the former Bear, Colt, and Redskin is the right corner. First and 10 at the 37. They hand it off to Mont Jordan, galloping, and he spins, goes down at the 41, gains three yards on the play. Derek Smith with the tackle. You talk there, Gus. There's the guy they want to get involved early. You saw him catch that first pass. They need Randy Moss to get interested, get into the game, make some plays. They brought him to Oakland because of his ability on the deep pass but he can do a lot of things for this offense but it's important that they find a way to get him the football 
and get him in this game. Lamont Jordan in the backfield, second and seven. Here's Walter with time over the middle, and he throws a bullet. Beautiful throw and a nice catch in traffic. Randall Williams gains 19. Mike Adams brings him down. You see a little bit there of why Andrew Walter has the physical ability to play in this football league. He's very tall, sees over the rush, and that ball was right on the money, right down the hash mark. If Walter can come in, you, you wonder, Gus, if Walter can come in and play well, how easy it will be for Aaron Brooks to get back on the football field given the way this season has begun for the Raiders. First down and 10 at the 41. Aaron Brooks having problems throwing the ball 15, 20 yards now. That chest muscle is really hurting him. Walter up top, incomplete. Alvis Witted, closest man to the football. Sammy Davis defensively. Even at this young age, Andrew Walter knows nothing wrong with throwing it out of bounds. And when you talk about Randy Moss, no catches in the first quarter or the fourth quarter prior to this game. Most of his work being done in the second and third quarters. Randy Moss, such a great player. And they want to get the most of him. He isn't a happy man. Feels that uh, the Raiders organization could be doing a little bit better. Second down and 10 at the 41. They hand it off. Jordan breaks it back. Nice piece of running. And Jordan tackled from behind at the 35-yard line. Manny Lawson. In on the play, six-yard gain for the former Jet. They need Lamont Jordan emerged last week with over 100 yards, and that was Gus. That was a nice little bit of running. He saw, broke it to the outside, made one cut, and had a nice gain of six yards on second down, and that's a big difference maker. If Lamont Jordan can keep this offense in third and short, and third and manageable, that's a huge step in the right direction because they've struggled on third down because of down and distance. Third down four at the 35. Jordan in the backfield. Alvis Witted in motion. And a whistle. Looks like a flag on the play. They're going to have more problems on third down here, Gus. False start, number 66. Offense, five yard penalty remains. Third down. That's Langston Walker. The right tackle. Yeah, it goes from third and four to third and nine, and that's a huge difference, particularly for an offense that's struggling. Gus, you saw the Niners come out. They had no bad plays in their drive, and the Raiders, their first bad play is a mental mistake on third and short. Third down nine at the 40-yard line. Niners showing blitz. Now they back off of it. Walter changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they're trying to confuse him, and they just couldn't change the play, Gus. Walter will take a timeout. Timeout. Okay. First team timeout. And the Raiders will take a timeout. 3.43 to play in the first. Niners up 7-zip. Raiders driving. The hunt continues for Larry the Lumberjack. Hello? Is someone there? Okay, I'm gonna come down. Vonage, one smart decision among many, many stupid ones. Click or call today. Come on, it. Beep, beep, beep. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I use all of his chains for the new 99 cent KFC Ultimate Cheese Snacker. KFC Snackers now come with cheese? And they're still only 99 cents? All right! Looks like we got a snacker backer here. Introducing the new Ultimate Cheese Snacker from KFC. 100% chicken breast, smothered in a blend of cheddar and Swiss, topped with crisp lettuce, freshly prepared on a sesame seed bun. And like the original KFC Snacker, it's only 99 cents. Now your dollar goes further at KFC. There's a new reason to celebrate. GMC Truck Month. These are the professionals. More than mere players. They are determined in every sense. And undeniable in every way. The pros of GMC with the confidence of the GM 100,000 mile warranty on 2007 models. Now during truck month, pile on extra bonus cash and score amazing deals like this. Game ends October 31st. You're watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 41. 
The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Wachovia. Knowing the score, made possible with Wachovia. And by Vonage, a better way to phone for less. And welcome back to San Francisco. Raiders face with a third down and nine at the 40. Lamont Jordan, a single setback. Walter dropping back underneath, and it's caught. Beautiful reception. Ronald Curry gains 20 yards, first down Raiders. And that's really, really crucial for the Raiders, Gus. You saw a moment before that play that the Raiders average third and almost 10 yards per third down this season. And that's tough to pick up on a regular basis. They got into this situation by a penalty. This time they were managed, they managed to overcome that. It may not be so easy if they continue. First down and 10 at the San Francisco 20-yard line for Oakland. Here's Lamont Jordan trying to break it outside. Flag on the play. And Jordan shot down on the far side by Jante Spencer. This is going to be a hold on the offense, Gus. Holding. Number 66. Offense. Ten yard penalty remains. First down. That's on Langston Walker, the guy who just got called for the false start on third down. Got caught when Lamont Jordan bounced that out. The, sub, the, the tendency is, you see right there, when Lamont Jordan bounces this out, Walker doesn't realize that He's got to let go. He doesn't. The ball was supposed to go up inside of Walker, and when it bounced outside, he wasn't ready to release his guy, and that stood out. You can't miss a hold like that. Eighth play of the drive that of the drive that started at the Oakland 26, first and 20. At the 30, here's Walter throwing it out of the backfield. Jordan makes the first man miss, and Jordan being slung down at the 27-yard line after a gain of four. Marcus Douglas in on the play. And it's obvious because we spoke about this in the open. Lamont Jordan's got to be big in this game. He is. I mean, Walter's looking for him all game long. They're handing it to him. They're throwing it to him. Pretty soon, though, you know the Raiders are going to try and go deep. Randy Moss is not a guy who can be covered one-on-one. -on -one, and if Wal if if Lamont Jordan can continue to make off play, break off plays up front, they're going to have to pack the box and bring guys up, and that leaves Randy Moss open. Moss, the receiver at the top of your screen. Randall Williams in motion. They go to Moss on the far side. And Randy Moss dives forward and gets to the 15. Shante Spencer with the tackle, a gain of 11. Because this is what the Raiders need to do. they got to simplify things and do two things. One is get the ball to Lamont Jordan. The other is get the ball to Randy Moss. If they can do that, those guys will be successful. Three things. They've got to protect their quarterback. <laughs> 19 sacks this season. It's been a problem. They're doing a better job today, I noticed, Gus, of getting the ball out of Walter's hands. Walter, 6 of 7, 65 yards. Third down and 5 at the 15. Here's Walter, steps up in the pocket. He can run a little bit, or oh. can he? No, he can't. He gets crunched down at the 15. Bryant Young, Mr. 49er, comes up with the tackle. And I'll tell you what, watch what happened. Walter, he'll run this. When you see him look back to his left, he sees the shadow and can feel it. Bryant Young, 80 and a half career sacks, sixth among active players behind Oakland's Ward Sack. Ouch. So Sebastian Janikowski comes in to attempt a 33-yarder. It's up and good, and the Raiders are on the board. Young Andrew Walter driving his team down. He'll have to settle for three points. And Brian Young says, hello, young fella. Welcome to San Francisco. The Raiders down the field, 7-3 the score now. Log on to NFL.com throughout the week and watch all the highlights and best plays from around the league. It's all on NFL.com. 11 plays covering 59 yards for Oakland. They held it for 6 minutes and 46 seconds as Sebastian Janikowski kicks that 33-yard field goal. Walter, 6 of 7 on the drive, Steve, 65 yards. That was not a bad drive. The thing that, that got him was the holding penalty down close. 
the two plays that followed the holding penalty weren't enough to get them back into the game. They could have gotten a first down if the, everything being equal, but they just couldn't do it because of the penalty. Now remember, Andrew Walter was 9 of 23 for 68 yards all of last week. And this one somehow stays in bounds and curls into the end zone. Maurice Hicks will take a knee. Find out why modeling is about to become Miami's most dangerous for the 20-yard line. Alex Smith led the 49ers on a nice drive to start the game. Their opening drive, 12 plays covering 72 yards. Arnez battle with the touchdown. First down and 10 at the 20. Here's Gore, trying to get through the hole and nothing doing. Maybe lucky to get a half yard on the play. Tyler Brayton with the tackle and Warren Sapp, the great warrior, limps off the field. He is a great warrior. We spoke to him on Friday and he's one of the guys, this defense has played pretty good for the Raiders and he's one of the guys that feels a lot better in this defense this year. He said they went back to a 4-3 and he feels more at home. Now this is a 3-4. He's back to doing what he really doesn't like to do. And you see there. Hard to see what happened. That is the end of the first quarter. Sap trying to walk it off. 7-3 San Francisco will return to San Francisco after these messages. You're watching. Welcome back. Niners with the 7-3 lead. Warren Sap limped off the field. He's back in there now. Sapp, what a great player, elected to seven consecutive Pro Bowls from 97 to 2003. He was the 99 Defensive Player of the Year and a Super Bowl champion with the Buccaneers. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line. Smith dropping back. And passed off! Route! Jumps the route! And goes down at the 25. Stanford route took it away from Antonio Bryant. Routes playing today in place of the injured Fabian Washington, and he just jumped that route. You said it, Gus. Watch to the far right of your screen. Routes just going to step right in front, trying to get the ball to Antonio Bryant. And they just did not believe that their Niners were going to throw that ball deep. Stanford route just squatted on that route. When the ball was snapped, he didn't move. He let Antonio Bryant come to him and stepped right in front. That's Cliff. anticipation. Smith throws his third interception of the season. First and 10 at the 23. Walter with time firing. Randy Moss. Oh, he dropped it. Randy Moss. How often do you see something like that happen? Wide open, and he drops the football. Great throw by Walter. There's no excuse, Gus. I mean, he had it. He's right there inside, number 18, coming to the back of the end zone, watches this ball comes out. I mean, I don't know what he's thinking or looking. He's wide open right in the back of the end zone. Just pluck it and drop down with the football. That is a flat-out mistake by a great player. Looked like he was trying to keep his feet inbounds. Lamont Jordan running, and he gets inside the 20. Five-yard pickup for the former New York Jet. Ulbrich in on the play with Walt Harris. Yeah. Randy Moss is thinking about that play. He's got 99 career touchdowns, Gus. That would have been 100, and it wasn't to be. I mean, he'll, if he doesn't get a touchdown today, Gus, he'll lay awake in bed tonight thinking about that catch that he should have made. Now Moss at the bottom of your screen. Alvis Witted at the top. Walter, short drop. Underneath incomplete. Raiders have dropped two in a row. Wow. That time, Randall Williams dropping the football. And those are catches, both of them, that should have been made. I mean, Andrew Walters, a young quarterback, in there trying to make some things happen, doing his best to keep his head above water at this point. Second start of his career. He's got guys around him dropping balls. That's tough. You see there, the defense comes over, trying to, as Lance Johnstone, 51, tapping him on the shoulder, saying, hey, man, you're doing good. Keep it up. 
Brings on Sebastian Janikowski into attempt a 36 yarder. And it's good. 13.59 to play in the second quarter. And the Raiders are within one. They could have taken the lead if Randy would have caught that one. Come back, 7-6. Moss with a big smile on the sideline. After dropping that one in the end zone. How about Andrew Walter, though? He looks really sharp starting this game. On the offensive line, giving him good time. I mean, the offense looks pretty productive. If they can stay away from their own mistakes. Janikowski kicking this one, and the 49ers will start from the 11 yard line. And a nice piece of running on the sideline. And that's Delaney Walker. Back up tight end, knocked out of bounds by Schweiger. A 25 yard return. NFL on CBS. And welcome back. 7 6 the score. San Francisco with the lead. Gus Johnson along with Steve Tasker. Battle of the Bay, first down and 10 now for the Niners. At their own 36-yard line, Frank Gore lines up as the single setback. Play action, Smith oh. underneath. Eric Johnson with the grab, and Eric Johnson gets to midfield. It's a gain of 14. Thomas Howard with the tackle. 12th reception of the year for Johnson. You look at this Niners team, and they've been called very young offensively. I think that's true. We spoke to Mike Nolan yesterday, and, and this is the guy that took over this club with, let's face it, a big job ahead of him. They had cap problems. They had talent problems. They had draft problems. And he, let's face it, he's still in the midst of it. And although this team looks a little better each and every week, given if you throw last week out, they've still got a little ways to go, but I like the direction they're in. I think Mike Nolan does too. Niners running the football. Look at Gore. Frank Gore. And this time he's holding on to the rock. A gain of 18. Morrison and Schweiger make the tackle. But Gore is just running right through this Raider defense. Well, you want to talk about going in the right direction, Gus. Watch Gore slash up inside, runs through an arm tackle, runs through a safety on his way to the big game. Schweigert finally drags him down, but not before taking a big shot from Gore, headed right up between the hash marks. Great running game here for the Niners. Gore, eight carries, 58 yards. First down, here's the pitch. Gore looking for daylight, and this time he goes down at the 29. Thomas Howard again with the tackle, but how about Frank Gore, Steve? Last year he became the first San Francisco rookie running back since Dexter Carter in 1990 to lead the team in rushing 608 yards. Well, he's got that look about him of a guy who can carry it a lot, even though he's not, as we said earlier on, he's not a big, huge guy. He's only 5'9". He is built. He's 215 pounds, and he's got great vision. You see, every time he runs the football, he seems to make the right cut. Not every running back does that. Second and nine at the 30. Smith rolling out of the pocket, throws on the run. <laughs> throw and an even better catch that's Arnez battle going up high but a flag on the play in front of Nandi Nandi Asamoa and it's a gain of 11 and this looks like it's going to be against the Raiders this is you really you said it Gus this is a great catch by Arnez battle he goes up and gets this and it's a good throw by Alex Holden, Smith number 21 defense penalty is declined first down so Asamoa called for the hold at the top right there, number 83 in the slot, goes to the outside, and he's going to turn. I don't really see a hold there, but you see the great catch that he makes right on the sidelines, back into the sun, over one defender in front of another. Lost his hat. So a first down at the Oakland 18-yard line for the 49ers. Michael Robinson checks in the game at tailback. Play fake. Smith throws on the run. Eric Johnson with the grab. Eric Johnson gets down to the 10. Thomas Howard with the tackle. Eric Johnson catching the ball like my former partner, Brent Jones. Is he I don't think he runs better after the catch, though. No, it's he doesn't. Us, huh? <laughs> you watch Great here. good move. And, then, and Smith does the right thing. Alex Smith, that is. T comes out, sees Eric Johnson. 
and throws it right away. Gives the guy a chance to catch it and get his eyes up the field. That's a nice job by the young quarterback hitting Johnson as fast as he can as soon as he comes open, giving him a chance to gather it in and gather himself before the defense gets there. And a whistle. False start, number 81 offense. Five-yard penalty, still second down. Antonio Bryant called for the false start penalty. Bryant played in Dallas and spent about a year and a half in Cleveland. Has found a home here in San Francisco. And we talked to him on Friday out at the 49ers facility. What a positive, focused, grounded young man. Oh, and he, I'll tell you what, you want to talk about passionate. I mean, this guy, he can, he's a preacher preaching football. I mean, he is really an amazing young guy. Mike Nolan said if he had 10 Antonio Bryants, this would be a whole different team. And I agree with him. As Gore takes the football to the 10 yard line, gains six on the play. Raiders having problems stopping Frank Gore, Burgess with the tackle. And we talked to Warren Sapp. As you see there, Rob Ryan, the defensive coordinator for the Raiders, they knew coming in the Niners were going to have that power run thing going, and they had to step up and stop it. But, you know, I'll tell you what, this Niner team, after getting thumped last week in Kansas City, it was a big question mark. Could they bounce back? Was it going to give them some mental scar tissue to overcome? I think they've answered that question here early on in, the, in this game. Raiders defense ranks 28th in the NFL against the run. Third down and two at the 10. Gore again gets inside the 10-yard line to the 9. Kirk Morrison, the middle linebacker, with the tackle. But Frank Gore has been the story in the first half. As we take a look at Warren Sapp, he's been a story as well. He's come up with a number of plays this season, especially in Baltimore. He had two sacks. There's a big fellow. You see him there facing the sideline. It fist he puts up in the air. That means they got fourth down. He doesn't think they got the first down. That's what that means. Warren Sapp limped off the field once. He must have gotten stepped on earlier on, Gus. It wasn't a muscle pull or anything like that. It's something he walked off because he's still, he's playing like he's not hurt. Something that he can live with, and now comes a big crucial down, and Mike Nolan decides he's going to go for it on fourth down. I like it, Gus. I like it. At home, you've got him on the run. Your offense has been productive, and I'll tell you what, if I'm Mike Nolan, I tell North Turner to give it to 21. And 21 is in the game. Out of the offset eye, Frank Gore, the deep man. Quarterback sneak, Smith. Does he get it? I don't know. That's close. Sam Williams there. And they're going to bring out the chains, I believe, to measure. Look at Warren Sapp getting down, <laughs> looking at it. These guys are taking a knee, signing up, and they don't think they got it. We'll see. Here come the chains. I always like to go with the defensive guys on this. Offensive guys are always optimistic, as defensive guys are, but defensive guys usually don't signal unless they're pretty sure. And there you go. And the 49ers come up short. Wow. Warren Sapp was right. Here come the Raiders on offense after this. Raiders. The defense comes up big on a fourth down and short. So now the Raiders will have it on offense. First and ten at the nine-yard line. Lamont Jordan, the deep man in the backfield. Here's Jordan over the left side now. Breaks the tackle, Jordan at the 20. And he goes down at the 25. A 16-yard run, Mike Adams. You the think, safety makes the tackle. Excuse me, Gus. You think about what happened now. This play, how this game is transpiring. Randy Moss misses a touchdown catch that might have made it 10-7. The Raiders now it's only 7-6, and I think that's what makes the Niners go for this on this fourth down. They've got a one-point lead at home. They're perfectly willing to do that. 
If they were down by three, they might take the field goal right there because they didn't get it on fourth down. The Raiders have a chance. First down at the 25. Jordan again running over the right side behind Crockett. And he gets to the 26-yard line before being tripped up. Anthony Adams in on the play. The Niner defense really read that play well. There were about eight guys running right to the point of attack. Whatever keys the Niner defense had on that play in that formation, they were exactly right. The Raiders handed that football off, and the Niners got to the point of attack before the Raiders could get there. That was a great defensive play by the entire squad on the 49ers. Second and nine of the 26. Walter, good time to the sideline. And the ball is caught out of bounds. John Madsen. Back up tight end, gains seven yards. You see how the Raiders come in. Madsen coming out as a rookie free agent out of Utah. Nice catch. He's got to get, he's going to thinking about trying to cut back inside. Just can't get around Sammy Davis, who makes him step out of bounds and brings up a third. And now, and now they're going to call it incomplete. Well, they had moved the sticks and everything, and now they're going to bring it all the way back to the original line of scrimmage. They must have thought he put his foot out of bounds on the catch. We'll see. Watch. He's got to have both feet down. There's the ball. There's one foot, two foot. I think that's a catch, Gus. His toe's down in bounds. Looks like his foot, though. His ankle was on the line. And if it was his toe going the other way, it'd be a catch. Walter to the sideline. Incomplete. Intended for Ronald Curry. He was open. And the Raiders have to punt it away. That's something in the league, though. You catch it on your toe and you put your heel down. If it's out of bounds, it's a miss. It's an incompletion. But if it's the other way, if you're going forward and your toe comes down without your heel, it's okay. So that brings on Shane Leckler, who holds the NFL record with 33 consecutive games with a punt of at least 50 yards. The streak started November 30th, 2003. Leckler is a very good punter. He's really good. Has been since the day he stepped on the field, Gus. Ended December 11, 2005, and he bangs this one. Wow. Williams starts at the nine. And Williams gobbled up at the 25-yard line. Robert Thomas with the tackle, a 65-yard punt. Go. It's all free at CBSSportsLine.com. First down and 10 at the 26. Frank Gore in the backfield. Antonio Bryant split wide at the top of your screen. Here's Gore. And Gore doesn't go far. Runs right into the line of scrimmage. Tommy Kelly in on the play. Tommy Kelly made that play, but I think Robert Thomas really actually forced Gore to go back and right into Tom Kelly's arms. That was made by the linebacker Thomas coming right up through the hole and Gore had to sidestep him and try something else because the Raiders stunted right into the play. Second down and nine of the 27. 630 and counting. Remaining in the first half. Now Smith in trouble. Hey, look at Alex Smith. And he gets down at the 38. He tucked it and ran for his life and gained 10 yards. Michael Huff touches him. You watch here. This is a, it's nice that he does this, but he, it's nice that he pump fakes it. And as soon as that pump fake goes, he takes off. There's no keeping his eyes down the football field, no looking for an outlet receiver. He's going, and it's the right move. Nobody was home over on that side of the defense. And that's a huge play for a young quarterback, and it's a smart one. First down and 10 at the 37. Smith rolling out and that one incomplete intended for Bryant Bryant gets up with some words for Namdi Asamoah Asamoah has done a good job covering Antonio Bryant this afternoon well, they had good coverage on that play they had three receivers to that side of the field where Alex Smith rolled out to one short one deep one long and they had a guy coming trailing as well everybody was on that side of the football field and the Raiders were all over that's a great defensive play Alex Smith did the right thing throwing it away 
Smith, 7 of 9, 60 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Second and 10 at the 37. Here's Smith, sets up a screen. Frank Gore needs one block. Frank Gore gets it. Gore to the sideline, and he's dragged down by Schweiger at the 42. 20-yard gain. But you, that play set up beautifully by Alex Smith. You call it. Watch the block right at the point of attack. You'll see Howard Thomas, Thomas Howard, come out, and he gets nicked off just there. That's Eric Heitman, the center, who just gets a piece of Howard and sets up Gore for the big game. Gore has had a terrific football game, a terrific first half. 12 carries, 67 yards rushing, two catches, 29 yards receiving. First and 10 at the 43. Eric Johnson in motion. Short drop Smith to the sideline. Puts that one on a B line. And Arnez Battle makes the catch and picks up some yards after the catch. It's a gain of 15. You know what happens, Gus, so many times you get a guy like Arnez Battle who plays opposite of Antonio Bryant, and you get into certain games where Battle's going to be the guy because they are so focused on Antonio Bryant that they just have to throw it to the other side. And Arnez Battle's getting a job done today, and Alex Smith finding him. Battle, three catches, 31 yards, and a touchdown in the first half. He came into this game with only 11 receptions this season. First and 10 at the 28. And Robinson running now. Robinson with some running room as Schweiger comes up and makes the tackle from his safety position after a six-yard gain. And he ran right through the tackle of Kirk Morris, who came up, had him right at the line of scrimmage. Robinson just ran right through the tackle. That's something you don't see very often. Morrison is a good player. He's a native guy, grew up in Oakland. He hates the Niners. His mom and dad hate the Niners. His whole family hates the Niners. <laughs> and here he is playing against them with a chance to prove a point. Niners, though, with 89 rushing yards in the first half. As they keep it on the ground, Michael Robinson on second and four. Stopped by Robert Thomas. I think, guys, so many times you see a team run the ball so well like the Niners have done. So many times, too, you see them get away from it. You have a run like that that, you know, you're cracking off five and six yard gains, and all of a sudden you run one and get two yards. And North Turner, I think, knows you got to keep handing it off, Gus. Even if you're not breaking them off for four yards, you've got to keep making the run game a big factor, even if it's not being productive. Third down, three at the 21. Robinson remains in the game. Delaney Walker in motion. Here's Smith. Finds Johnson. And Eric Johnson ridden out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Yeah, I don't think he got the first down. I don't. didn't look like he got it when he made the catch and tried to turn it up. Michael Huff there. That was a great tackle by Huff on the far side. Dwayne Starks as well. Tough to tackle a big tight end who starts to get his shoulders up, and that is what playing safety in the NFL is all about, Gus. You've got to make that play. That tight end catches it just short of the first down. They're always big guys, and if they turn it up and just fall forward, they're going to get it. It takes a special safety to stop him cold, and they did it. And they're short by about an inch. So let's see what the 49ers elect. Looks like they're, they're going for yeah, it. Yeah, they're going to stay for it. They're going big people, and they're going to run in there and try and get it. They got. They didn't get it the last time on the quarterback sneak. I don't think you go to the quarterback sneak again, Gus. I think you're going to hand this football off. And look who's come in the game for the 49ers. Big number 68, Adam Snyder who comes in on short yardage situations. He can help. 6'6", 312 pounds. Number 76 is reported as eligible. Number 76. Ninth play of the drive that started at the 26. Seven. And they hand it off, and I don't know. And it all depends.
depends on what the officials see, Gus. That was close. I thought he might have gotten that one. Warren Sapp in on the play. Warren Sapp says they stopped him again. Warren Sapp's got it now. He's walking off the field. Last time they had fourth down, well, he's he, thinking about walking off the he field. He called it, and they didn't walk off the field. This time, he called it, and he started to walk off the field like he really believed it. You can see him barking at the Niners' offense. Let's see right he's here. They're short again. That is the two-minute warning. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. 49ers and the Raiders D it up. The Raiders get the ball at their own 19-yard line. Two minutes to play in the first half. They hand it off. This is Lamont Jordan. And Jordan picks up two and a half. Let's take a look at the big stop by the... You'll see here, Gus Robinson's going to run up in there. What happens, they break his momentum right there with the big hit from Morrison. When he turns his shoulders, he doesn't have the leverage to push the pile, and he doesn't get the first down. Back to Sanford, 7-6. 49ers leading the Raiders, and the Raiders have the ball. Second down and eight at their own 21-yard line. Raiders defense has played very well in this first half. Although they have allowed some rushing yards by Frank Gore, they have they are bending but not breaking rather, Steve. Yeah, it's been highlighted by the two fourth down stops, Gus. Second down and eight at the 21. Walter back to pass, scrambles out of the pocket, finds Randy Moss, and Moss chopped down at the 27. A six-yard pickup. San Francisco. Second team timeout will be a 30-second timeout. Sean Spencer brings him down, and the 49ers call timeout. Making the trip across the Bay Bridge to take in this one. Third down and two at the 27. Going down the seam, caught! First down Raiders at the 33, and it looks like Curry hauls it in. And it's a gain of 39, Walt Harris making the saving tackle. Timeout, Oakland. Second team timeout will be The Raiders with a big play, calling a timeout. Right there, guy who's gonna make the play. Ronald Curry. And this play was called at the line of scrimmage, Gus, by Andrew Walter. He made the call, executed it. That's big for a young quarterback, and it's big for this offense First. To, to have him start doing that. First down at the 34. Curry, two catches, 59 yards. Walter passing again. Steps up. He's got a lane. Walter slides down at the 22. Right in front of Brandon Moore, a gain of 12. Well, he did the right thing. He dropped back, saw the defense in man coverage, backing out of there. Nobody's looking at him. He big pump fake, and the defense runs for it. Allows him to pick up over 10 yards in the first down. Now Walter to throw again. <laughs> Underneath, Randy Moss. And Moss tackled from behind, but he goes down inside the 20-yard line. Stopped by Moore. Gain of six. I'll tell you what, Gus. The umpire, Daryl Jenkins, made that play for the 49ers. Moss was coming across and ran smack into him and stopped him cold in his tracks. Don't forget, coming up on the Sprint Halftime Report, join J.B., Dan Shannon, and the Boom for all the latest NFL scores and highlights. That's all coming up on the Sprint Halftime Report. Very competitive game between two teams that are struggling this season. Raiders looking for their first win. San Francisco 1-3, their only win coming against St. Louis here. Watch the umpire end up getting right in the way of Randy Moss. He comes across, and they bump right into each other. Randy turns around saying, who was that? Daryl Jenkins making the play there for the officiating crew. <laughs> Second down and four at the 17. 
And timeout, a timeout. San Francisco, third and final team timeout. Will be a 30-second timeout. So both teams out of timeouts. It's second and about four, Gus. You've got plenty of time, 56 seconds, particularly if you're going to throw the football. Go ahead and run whatever play you want if you're the Raiders. I think it's important, though, to spread the field and tell Walter, if you drop back and nothing's there, go ahead, get the first down. Then we can take three shots or two or three shots at the end zone. But I wouldn't rule out even using the run game, but I would get the first down before I do anything. Spread them out, let Walter pick his spot, and then if it's not there, get the first down with his feet. Tom Walsh, offensive coordinator of the Raiders, trying to come up with a good scheme here. Remember, the Raiders have no timeouts. As Walter approaches the line of scrimmage, Vermont Jordan in the backfield. There's Alvis Witted in motion. And a flag. Right False tackle start. move. False start. Looks like Langston Walker. Third penalty on Walker today. False start. Number 66, offense. Ten yard penalty remains. Second down. That's hard. It's hard to miss right here. See, he just backs out a little bit, er, little bit early. Those are, those are killers, Gus. Those are absolute killers. When you get down close, particularly in a two-minute drill, and take little penalties like that. Second down to nine. Randy Moss, the receiver at the bottom of your screen. Here is Witted. Crossing. Walter throwing up top for Moss. Touchdown. This time he held on. And that is the 100th career touchdown for Randy Moss. The seventh player ever in the history of the NFL with 100 touchdown receptions. And he'll keep that one. Yes, he will. 22 yards. Andrew Walter threw that ball right in there, fit it in between the safe, two safeties, and Moss went down and got it. We will review the previous play. So they will review it. Right, Andy Moss went right. down to get it. Let's see. There he is right in front of you. Yeah. There you go. Wow, look at that catch. Look, Ma, no hands. That's 100. <laughs> Later. Thank you. That's a touchdown. And a memorable one at that. You see the two safeties are just that much late getting there. Moss has it between his legs. No hands. I uh, got it. Nice. And just for the record, Gus, I was one of the all-time worst when I was a player, but the officials got it right. Okay. Great throw by Walter right in the pocket. Moss, and there's no doubt about it, that wasn't even close. Andrew Walter told us he wanted to get the passing game going this week. He told us that yesterday when we met with the Raiders. He certainly has done it. He looks terrific in the first half. And you mentioned, Gus, that this was the second start of his career. As you see the touchdown again. But Walter said, you know, it's been important, and I think the help that we got last week from Lamont Jordan in the Cleveland game, he acknowledged that that was important, but he really put the pressure on himself, did Andrew Walter, that he's got to get the ball and got to get a rhythm in the passing game, and he's got the right idea getting it to that guy. Randy Moss with his 100th career touchdown reception. We'll see if it stands nice right call. here. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. The big 100 for Randy Moss. This one. Between his knees. Between his knees. <laughs> Acrobatic style. Sebastian Janikowski in to attempt the extra point. Up. And good. And the Raiders. Go ahead of the 49ers, 13 to seven. So let's take a look at who Randy Moss joins in this club. Some great players, Steve, look at this. Yeah, I mean, that's a who's who right there. T.O. 
has 102. And he did it fast, did Randy Moss. Of course, Jerry Rice with 197. That's like, uh, I mean, that has all the, that's like a Babe Ruth record right there. And that one's, that one's going to be there for a while. Although the league is changing more and more, more and more receivers are catching a lot of balls. Jerry Rice might have put that one out of reach, but Randy Moss definitely in some elite company there talking to Art Shell. And that's that's Tom Walsh right there who's come down from the booth. So the Raiders take the lead 13 to 7. Hicks is back deep. Pretty impressive two-minute drill there, Gus. They got a 51 seconds left. I mean, they did it almost too fast. And we'll see if Alex Smith and the Niner offense can answer that. They scored in a minute and nine seconds on a six-play drive, covering 81 yards. Walter really marching them down the field. And how big do those two fourth down stops look now when they could have had field goals? It would be a tie game. So Janikowski line drive. Hicks from the goal line. And Hicks goes down close to the 30 flag on the play, a 30-yard return. During the return, holding number 40 of the receiving team, 10-yard penalty, first down. That's going to back him up. I think, Gus, when you got 45 seconds, you're down by six at home. I, you know, I, I think they've played too well in this first half. I think not to give it a little bit of a chance. Back it up, try and make something happen. Give it a couple of plays, and if something doesn't happen for you, then you can maybe kneel down and take your lumps. But I think it, with 45 seconds, give it a shot. Go for it. Don't just buckle up and go under and go in at halftime content, but to be down by six. Give Alex Smith a chance maybe to get a little something going here in this last minute of the game, or the half. Here's Smith, and he hands it off to Gore. Gore running outside, and he goes down at the 26-yard line. Michael Huff brings him down. Well, I guess they... Uh, that's they want to do it a different way, Steve. Yeah, they're not going to go for it with that. I mean, they, and they're not hurrying up to the line of scrimmage. Alex Smith looking at the sideline. Clock's running. 20 seconds. That's it. It's going to be the first half for the Niners. And, you know, they can look back when they get in at halftime and think, you know what? May, we should have taken the two field goal opportunities when they had the chance. It would be a tie game. But on the Raiders' side, their defense rose up and is the difference in this game. Raiders stopped the 49ers on fourth down and inches twice in the first half. And then Andrew Walter drives him down the field. That is and the end of the first half. Hits Randy Moss for his 100th career touchdown reception. And the Raiders head into the locker room with a 13-7 lead. And I think both these clubs have some good things to go back on. But we'll have to see what they do in the second half, Gus. We'll be back with the Sprint Halftime Report after this message. And a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 41. Here in the second half, Gus Johnson along with Steve Tasker. Very competitive first half for both yeah, teams. Yeah, it was, but I think the crucial plays all seem to go the way of the Raiders. The two crucial fourth downs that led to no points being taken away by the Niners. And it ended up with a six-point lead. Uh, at halftime because the Raiders were able to work it in that two-minute drill. They got the nice play call at the line of scrimmage by Walter. He made the play and got him into field goal range in what turned out to be Randy Moss's 100th touchdown catch. All right, let's take a look at the statistics from the first half. You see there, the Niners got the running game going. I mean, that's important. If they can continue to do that, they're going to be in this football game. The total yards goes in favor of the Niners, but not by much. And I think, Gus, if both teams can keep from turning the football over, it's going to continue to be a dogfight. But I think it may come down to which of these two teams can hang on to the football. Both these quarterbacks have not been asked to do very much. If they, this game continues to stay close toward the end, maybe one of those young quarterbacks will try to force something and cause a turnover. So Joe Netney will kick it away. Chris Carr back deep for the Raiders. Here's Carr, and he'll start from the two. Breaks it outside with some room. Gets the block. Flag on the play. And this will be an illegal block called uh, against Oakland. And it will go against Derek Gibson. 34-yard return. Happened out During the return, illegal block in the back. Number 36, receiving team. 10-yard penalty. First down. 
There's no escaping that one. It happened right out in space. There's only two guys out there right here, right at the point of attack. I mean, you can't miss it. And I'll tell you what, I don't know that I would have called that if I was an official. I was very close. On the side is legal. And I always look at how the guy you blocked fell. He fell on his back, so you had to spin him from the front. Looked like a good block to me. So Andrew Walter, 10 of 15 in the first half, a buck 38, a touchdown, no picks. Steps to the line of scrimmage. Hands it off on first down to Lamont Jordan. And Jordan is stood up and sent backwards. Elvin Oliver, first man to him. But Andrew Walter, second year out of Arizona State, and the Raiders had him very high on the draft board when they took him. They felt that uh, he possibly, and this is the same year that Alex Smith came out, was a first-round pick. Yeah, and it's interesting, North Turner was the guy that had Andrew Walter listed ahead of Alex Smith, and now North Turner across the bay coaching Alex Smith and not Andrew Walter. Second down and nine, Walter throws. Finds Jordan out of the backfield, and Lamont goes down at the 25-yard line. Walt Harris makes a tackle after a three-yard gain. I'll tell you, the 49er defense, for the problems it's had, really pursues well to the football. Lamont Jordan caught that football, and four or five Niners converged in a heartbeat. They really covered a lot of ground and held that to a small gain. So that brings up third down and seven at the 24. Walter under pressure gets it off and throws it away. Walter in the grasp. Brian Young back there along with Brandon Moore. I'll tell you what, Gus, we just said it, a young quarterback trying to make something happen. He gets away and he does throw this away and rightfully so. But when you do that, when you're going down and try and heave it in desperation, you don't always know where it's going to land. And this one landed well in the field of play out over the heads of everybody, but not by much. That's a dangerous throw to save a sack, but he did get it done. Brings on Leckler, his last punt, 65 yards. And it's blocked and recovered. Great job by Manny Lawson. And the 49ers are in business. Lawson laying out, coming up with the block punt. And the 49ers have it inside the Raider 10. Vincy State first round pick. And the 49ers have it at the Oakland nine-yard line. First down and goal. Frank Gore, Moore Norris in the backfield. Now Norris in motion. They fake the pitch. Smith rolls, throws on the run, incomplete. Eric Johnson, the intended receiver. Covered on the play by Michael Huff. And right here, Gus, this is Manny Lawson. He's going to come off. He's the second pick for the first round for the Niners this year. Watch as he goes up and under, and he comes in, and that's the key, Gus. You got to keep coming after the ball, and you'll notice when he blocked that punt, it was just barely off Leckler's foot. You don't jump to get it. You dive to get it. Manny Lawson did that perfectly, and Gus, there is no bigger special teams play. Even if it was a touchdown, you can't get more big than a block punt. That's huge. Second and goal at the nine. And they run it. Not a lot of room. Derek Burgess in on the play. Frank Gore carrying. But think about it. Leckler has punted 463 career. He has 463 career punts, rather. Only his third career blocked punt. And that was a protection breakdown. I mean, Manny Lawson didn't get touched. He came up. The coverage team thought that they were just going to expand and there was no block on. Manny Lawson just kept coming right up into Leckler's grill and took the ball right off his foot. Second down and goal at the six. Make that third down and goal. 
Here's Smith to pass underneath. Touchdown. Arnez battle again. Great heads up play by Battle. Reaches out and extends the ball over the goal line, and Manny Lawson knows he helped out his team in a big way, setting up Arnez Battle for that touchdown pass. What a great job by Battle stretching that ball over the goal line. He's going to catch it just outside the end zone, right at the top of your screen. Watch as he pivots out, screeches it, and just reaches it right over the line. I think that's a touchdown. Second touchdown pass of the game for Battle as he connects with Alex Smith once again. Extra point is up and good. 14-13, 49ers reclaim the lead. Alex Smith, 13, 49ers taking the lead. Joe Netney ready to send it away to Chris Carr, who's back deep. Standing at his own goal line. Now Carr from the four. And he's tripped up and taken down at the 27 yard line. A 23 yard return as Walter comes back in. Let's take another look at the touchdown. You'll see here, just as this play takes place and they kick the field goal. Arch Shell throws the red flag. He thinks that Battle's knee is down before he extends over the line. The knee right here, he thinks his knee was down before the ball got over the line, but he didn't throw the red flag in time before the extra point went, so it's not going to be reviewed. First down and 10 at the 27. And they hand it off. This time, Justin Fargus in the game. Fargus... Gets to the 33 and a half yard line. Fargus had a good game against Cleveland. Three carries, 54 yards. He came in in excellent shape this season. Really looking forward to his opportunity. Lamont Jordan, though, playing extremely well as the featured back. But Fargus is a good back, Gus. He is a fast guy. I mean, Lamont Jordan is a big, bruising, powerful guy. Fargus is a guy that you get the feeling when he gets the ball in his hands, he can outrun everybody. So it's a little different look. But he's a great running back, and you're right, Gus. This is a year he's really focused on. Second down at four. Fargus again. Look at him. And Fargus gets inside San Francisco territory. Mark Roman makes the tackle, but he gains 18. Well, there you have it. There's, that's the speed that Fargus gives you. He gets through there. A guy gets a hand on him, but he runs right through it as he turns this and really doesn't even cut he just turns the corner runs right to the point of attack and he's in the secondary so fast Gus uh, that's a real really a difference for a defense you're sitting back there watching Lamont Jordan pound 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 and all of a sudden they put Fargus in there and it's different Fargus remains in the game first down and 10 Raiders playing some smash mouth football now going right at San Francisco, here's Walter. All day to throw it to the sideline, and he throws it away. Randy Moss may have been open. Yeah, on the far side of the field, Randy Moss was going to run up and out towards the sideline, run a fade route right up the sideline and look for the football. But you see there, Spencer just, you know, stays ahead of him. He doesn't want to give up the big play. And you can see the respect they have for Moss. They just keep him in front of them. And, of course, Walter just throws the football away. There's no way he could fit it in on the route that was called. Second and 10 at the 47. Draw play. Fargus. And Fargus stays on his feet, gets to the 40. Terrific balance by Justin Fargus. Is Mike Adams brings him down. He gains six yards. You see there as Fargus comes off the field. He's, a lot of these teams will do that. They'll have a guy just like the Raiders do. A guy like Lamont Jordan who's a big bruiser. The guy that comes in is a little more versatile. He'll either catch the ball out of the backfield. He'll be a speed guy or he'll be a little bit better in pass protection. But each guy, each team wants to have everything, but they want to have a compliment to their number one guy that's very different. And the Raiders have got that in Fargus. Third down, four at the 41. Lamont Jordan back in the game. Walter underneath. Ball is caught at the 35-yard line. In traffic, Alvis with it. 
Stopped by Sammy Davis, gained six and a first down. In the first drive of the second half, the Raiders didn't look good. They ended up punting the football away, and it got blocked here. The second drive, now they've got their feet under them. There's nothing more important, Gus, than that first drive in those early moments in the second half when you come out, you've had a chance to see what the defense is and make some adjustments, and the Raiders have got that going right now. Boy, I like Andrew Walter, Steve. He's getting better and better every game. First and 10 at the 35. They handed to Fargus back in the game. And look at Fargus running. He gets to the 26, an eight-yard gain. Justin Fargus coming off the bench. And four carries, 40 yards already. Lamont Jordan, seven carries, 34 yards. I'll tell you guys, it, it never ceases to amaze me. You get these guys that have been sitting on the bench watching the number one guy, and Fargus comes in. And he's just got energy. He wants to do well. He's running with energy. The offensive line feels that everything picks up just because it's a different face. Ball running by the Raiders as Fargus plows forward. Running into Derek Smith as well as Marcus Douglas. You say he ran into Derek Smith. He sure does. Watch this at full speed. Watch how this takes place. I'm so glad I'm retired. First down and 10 now for Oakland at the 23-yard line. Eric Smith, one of the leaders on defense. Play action, Walter sets up deep in the pocket, throws to the corner, picked off. Walt Harris waiting for it. And that's the first interception of the year for the San Francisco 49ers. Two other teams do not have an interception this year. The Detroit Lions and the Denver Broncos. Walter a little too calm. And the 49ers make him pay. Harris talking to his teammates on the sideline. The 49ers a happy group defensively their first interception of the year first down and 10 now at the 20 and they hand it off to Gore. Gore crosses the 25 yard line gains seven Michael Huff with the tackle. You'll see here Walt Harris is really covering Madsen right here in the flat. He watches Walter's eyes and he's just going to slough. He sees Walter looking deep. And he just follows it and goes back. He leaves his man completely uncovered short and rolls the dice, and it pays off. He goes back to help on the deep ball and makes the interception. Brings up second down and short for San Francisco. Gore again. And Gore written down at about the 28-yard line. Kirk Morris in the middle linebacker with the play. And it should make it about third down and one and a half. It gets to the point where you kind of lose perspective maybe as a, as a fan. You think, man, the Niners have got to do something here. You got to take advantage of that turnover. But you know what? They're doing the exact right thing. They've got a one-point lead. They're deep in the third quarter. They're running the football well. Don't change anything and get excited just because your defense made a big play. Stick with your game plan. Hand the football off. Grind out a nice drive here and come away with points. Third down and one. Timeout. San and Francisco, Alex Smith first team timeout. calls a timeout. Welcome back. Third down and one for the 49ers. Mike Robinson checks in the game. They're three of five on third down conversions. Play fake. Smith throwing the Norris out of the backfield. First down. San Francisco. Morin Norris with the grab, Sam Williams with the tackle. Jets at Jacksonville today. Here's JB in New York. Hey, Gus and Steve, it's a mad Jacksonville team. After a Chad Pennington pick, Byron left was drills this 16-yard bullet to Reggie Williams. Hey, fellas, it's a spanking by the Jaguars. 21 points off the of turnovers, 38-0. Gus, Steve. Wow, man, look at the statistics there. It's Pennington. Not good. Three interceptions on the day. Jacksonville with a lot of injuries going into that game as well. Play fake. Alex Smith sets up over the middle. Antonio Bryant caught it. Great route by Bryant. Stanford route tackles him. 
but it's a gain of 13. Stanford route already with an interception in this game. It's Antonio Brown, a guy, he's, if he's drawn single coverage, Alex Smith has got to know you got to find him, and he does on this. this is a great throw right in tight coverage. That's good coverage there, Gus. I mean, Routes got him, but when you're throwing against, going against a guy that's as good as Antonio Bryant is, good coverage sometimes isn't enough. Bryant, three catches, 27 yards. And a whistle. <laughs> 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 Looks like Trudell Sands. Yeah. Said, I'm going to jump offside. What do you think this penalty is? And I'm going to push you hard. Yeah. I'll give you three guesses what this penalty is going to be, Gus, here. Encroachment, number 90, <laughs> defense, five yard penalty remains. Five now for San Francisco at the 46. Picks up a couple. Tomorrow, How I Met Your Mother moves to its new time. Mondays at 8, 7 Central. See the show with the Bills and playing at four Super Bowls and stuff. Yeah, I told him it set his sights a little higher than that. You, know, you don't want second place rings. There's Gore again, setting his sights awfully high. Bounces it outside. And a young man from Miami gets out of bounds at the 31. Stuart Schweiger. Driving him out of bounds. It's a gain of 11. You know, you and I don't get it big. I mean, he is really playing well, and he's a he really was fun to talk to. More importantly, he's holding on to the football. He had fumbled in four straight games. Gore takes a hard hit and goes down. He'll lose yardage, but he had off-season shoulder surgery in both shoulders. So it may take him some time to get that strength back in his shoulders to hold on to the ball. That's right, and... and as you see, there's a player down. He got clothesline on that one. He made Sands miss him in the backfield, sidestep, and tried to get away from it. He got hit by two other guys. His helmet's off. When you get up like that, Gus, it looks as though maybe it's not anything physical. It might be a shot to his head. He got clothesline there, bang, on the side of his head. Cordell Sands with those long arms. And we'll be back right after this. Or on the sideline looks like he may have injured his neck or either his jaw We'll see if he comes back in this ball game second and 12 of the 33 Hicks in the backfield Smith going up top for everything Incomplete Antonio Bryant had a step And he tumbles out of bounds I like this play though Gus Watch as Antonio Bryant comes out right there. The ball's in the air. Before he even gets behind the defender, he's the ball is in the air. It's a great anticipation throw by Smith. It's just about, what is that, 36 inches too far? That's about it. So that brings up third down and 12, and Bryant will remain on the sideline at the 33-yard line. 49ers up by a point. Arnez battle in motion. He's been terrific today. Smith rolls out, sets up a screen. They find Hicks. All kinds of daylight. Hicks down the sideline. Dives. Touchdown. 49ers. 33 yards. That is a sensational play call by North Turner against his old defense. He used their aggression on third and long against them. He got the ball off to a running back. One guy missed, and it turned into a touchdown. What a great play to call at that point. Only three guys in the rush. The offensive lineman had plenty of chances to sort out who they got, it, who they went out, and they picked up the right guys on the screen pass. What a great play call. Great execution for the 49ers. Maurice Hicks. What... A great run as he dives into the end zone. He's in his third year out of North Carolina A&T. A tiny school in Greensboro, North Carolina. There's only three guys in the pass rush. You'll watch as they come up. You'll see Sapp and uh, Trudell Sands come in. Then when they turn around, the last block they got is all the, the only one he needed. 
Huff couldn't get there in time to drag him down. He extends for the end zone. You got to love that. Hicks jumping, diving in for the touchdown, and he had a feeling about that play. He knows that that Raider defense on the third and 11 was really going to turn it loose, and he used it against him. Gave his quarterback an easy throw, and Hicks made a big play out of it. So the Niners are sending away. Carr back deep for Oakland. Angle toward the near sideline. Carr from the four. And Chris Carr looking for some running room. And he'll get to the 20-yard line. Tackle on special teams made by Keith Lewis. A 17-yard return. You know, Gus, that's really dictated. That's what special teams does. It dictates field position, Gus, and momentum. And right now, the Niners have got both. First down and 10 at the 21. Moss in motion. Here's the handoff. Justin Fargus. And Fargus gets to the 29. Derek Smith with the tackle. Don't forget, folks, next Saturday, the Home Depot, SEC on CB. Like, like and they beat George, him good. They look like George Patton and a herd of <laughs> tanks going through there. That's a ground game not to be messed with. Second down and two at the 29. Fargus again. Fargus has come in, and he's brought some good energy to this Raiders run game as Ulbrich makes the tackle. Seven carries for Justin for 57 yards. Yeah, I, I like the fact that they're giving him some more chances with the football. You got to stick with your game plan. It's early in the game. You know you're going to have the football a couple more times, but it's starting to get to the point, Gus, where the Raiders really have to do some things to keep this game in hand. First and 10 at the 34. Walter throws it to Fargus out of the backfield. He's got a room. And Justin knocked out of bounds at the 39 by Parrish. Justin Fargus gains five yards. Really like the, the way he's playing today off the bench. He's, uh, he's been he's going to become more and more. I think when it happens, Gus, when you get a guy like Fargus that comes in and gives you a boost of energy, the tendency is <laughs> let's keep doing it. And he'll get more carries as the weeks go by. He'll get more reps in practice, and he'll start to evolve into an offense that's maybe a little different with him in, on the field. And Lamont Jordan coming in as being the hammer as well. Second and five. Matson in motion. Vargas again, and this time, hey, he breaks the tackle. Vargas running so hard. Look at Vargas running. He should have been dropped for a loss, but he'll gain six yards. Derek Smith with the tackle. Justin Vargas was wrapped up in his own backfield. You're right. I mean, he broke two really good tackles. I mean, this is what you see there. That's Ulbrich. Coming right up and making it. He runs through that one, and then he runs through the tackle of Ron Fields and finally gets the first down. That's what a guy can do for you, guys. And I'll tell you, if you got a guy like that, give him more touches. Give him more touches. First down and 10 at the 45. Lamont Jordan back in. He's the lone setback. Play fake. Walter looking with time underneath. Great throw. Great catch. Madsen with the grab in front of Mark Roman. That was a great catch. Roman had excellent coverage. And he pulled it right in. Watch his hand is right on the ball as this ball comes in. Madsen's going to come out and break out to the left of your screen right underneath. Walter delivers this ball right on the money. That's coverage right there. I'll tell you what. You can't do it any better on that on either side. So the Raiders have it at the San Francisco 42. Here's the pitch. Jordan tried to turn it up, and he gets inside the 40, down to the 38-yard line. Anthony Adams with the tackle, and that should take us to the end of the third quarter with the score, the 49ers 21, the Raiders 13. We'll return to San Fran after the end this of the message. Third quarter. Driving, Andrew Walter has looked very solid, although he did throw an interception. But he has the football right now at the... 49ers 39 yard line second and seven here's the pitch Lamont Jordan and Jordan goes nowhere tripped up and stopped Jeff Ulbrich a loss of one
So that'll bring up third down and eight. Well, the Raiders are getting to the point now, Gus, where you're into the fourth quarter now, and you got to think that you're going to have to start picking these up. You're, because the Niners have been very effective offensively. They've hung on to the football for a long time. The pressure is on the Raider offense, as it has been for a good part of this season. This is one time they need him to come through. Walter underneath, picked off again. Wow. And that one down inside the 30. Chad Williams with the 43-yard return. And that was a bad throw, Gus. Walter threw that low and behind the receiver, right into the arms. Right into the arms of Williams. And I don't, there's no way you can, you can uh, make an excuse for this one. This is a bad throw, as you see here. That's just come out, and that was there. Ron Curry was the receiver. And he just had no chance. That was a bad throw right from the very beginning. And that is something that Andrew Walter is going to have to explain. I don't know what he was throwing at there. He threw that behind. He's been accurate all day, and that was not it. So the 49ers have it. At the Oakland 28, Gore. And Gore can't get through the hole. Stopped on the play by Tommy Kelly, a loss of two. And I don't know, what, because Andrew Walter on that interception, the first interception you could kind of see, we illustrated that it was a roll of the dice by the defense. A guy is in a spot where he's not supposed to be, and Walter threw it up to the right spot, and he ended up getting it picked off. This time, that's on Andrew Walter. That was a bad interception. Second down and 12 at the 30-yard line. First four games, no interceptions today. The Raiders have two picks. Gore with running room. Gore going to get to the corner. Out of bounds at the four. Stanford route with the saving tackle. But Gore with the 26-yard run. And for Gus, for as good a game as the Raider defense has played thus far in the fourth down stops they've made and the, and the plays that they've made, now they need him more than ever and i'll tell you what so many times you see it a defense has played a great game and their offense just makes one too many bad plays and they have a hard time recovering for it you're seeing that now with the raider defense Four, 21 carries 123 yards robinson checks in the game he's in there with norris michael robinson trying to get outside and warren sat collars him and brings him down. Well, there's a guy, Warren Sapp, who's not going to lay down. I mean, this game is on the verge of getting out of hand pretty quickly now. If the Niners can score here again, Warren Sapp's not going to let it happen. And that's what the Raiders has really needed. They need guys to step up and say, hey, not on my watch. Let's go. And Warren Sapp is a guy we spoke to him on Friday, and he's on that program. He is ready to have this team ride him and follow him. And in this situation, they need him to be big, and they've got to jump up and do something. Great balance by the 49ers on offense. 145 yards rushing, 156 yards passing. Second and goal at the five. Robinson straight ahead. And Robinson gets to about the two. Right up. Schweigert in on the play. Excuse me, because right up over the center, and you see there, the running back happens sometimes. He goes in thinking he's going to get contact right at the word go he goes in there's nobody there and he trips over somebody's foot i mean there was a nice crease inside there for robinson and he, you run up inside on the goal line gus hey you're thinking it's gonna be a train wreck there was nobody there and he just tripped and didn't make it in third down goal at the two <laughs> norris and robinson line up in the eye formation It is dropped at the one yard line. Kirk Morrison, the middle linebacker, with the tackle. Well, there you have it. Now, Joe Nedney's going to come on. They've been down this road twice before. <laughs> yeah, this they game. have. Forget that going forward on fourth down now. Give me the points, and it's the right call. They're going to go up 24 13, up by 11 if they can convert here. But you have to credit this Raider defense. They have bent 
but haven't broken very often. They have been a bright spot, no question. And the Niner offense has looked very sharp against the Raider defense, but that defense has stepped up. Inside the 30-yard line, Joe Netney for his career, 58 of 58. Make it 59 of 59 as he nails the 19-yarder. 10.42 to play in the fourth quarter. Niners go up 24-13. 24-13, Mike Nolan, head coach of the 49ers, has to be pleased with the way his team is playing. Not easy to get your team to bounce back from a 41 to nothing drubbing. Mike Nolan has done it. They've shown up big today. Start fa they fa started fast, which is unusual. Here's Carr from the seven-yard line. And Carr is wiped out. At the 20, good special teams coverage. Hicks in on the play. 12-yard return. Back right after this. Welcome back. 24 to 13. 49ers with the lead as the Raiders approach the line of scrimmage. Lamont Jordan and Zach Crockett in the backfield. First down and 10 at the 20. Randy Moss, the receiver at the bottom of your screen. Now Walter throws it, and it's thrown behind Lamont Jordan. And it's a live and that's a live football. That was a backward pass. There's touchdown. No, no question about it, and that's a mental blow. Melvin that, Oliver. That was a lateral gust all the way. There's no question about it. Lamont Jordan batted it to the ground because he couldn't catch it, and they absolutely blew it mentally. There's no doubt about it. That was a backward pass from Walter to Lamont Jordan. Watch, this is the line. Is, watch as the ball comes out. It goes this direction. It doesn't go forward. He'll release it at the 12, and it lands back at the 11 and a half. That's a backward pass. There's no question about it. And the Niners capitalize. A 12-yard return by Melvin Oliver, a rookie. He was the third, sixth-round pick Oakland in 2006. Oakland challenging the ruling on the field that the pass is a forward pass. As we take another look. And I thought as soon as he let it go, I thought they were in trouble with that being a backward pass. And I saw both officials, nobody blew the whistle. They both watched intently. As Oliver came over, grabbed with one hand, and he just kind of looked around, started running, and then as he started running, he watched, he saw the officials watching him, and he kicked it in and got it to the end zone. But I think the officials made the right call on this. Just at higher levels, don't think they have to go over that stuff. Interesting point. You gotta, I mean, you're in the NFL, you gotta cross your T's and dot your I's if you think there's any chance that that's a backward pass. You got to get on it. And that, to me, running back. To me, they got that right. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. So big Melvin Oliver, the rookie out of LSU. He was the 49ers' third, sixth round pick in this past Oakland year's draft. Charged a timeout. And he scores a big touchdown by making a heads up play. Hey. Gus. Marcus Tuiasasopo is warming up now for the Oakland Raiders. Third turnover of the day for the Raiders. And the extra point is good. 10.30 to play in the fourth. The 49ers take a 31-13 lead. 31-13 San Francisco, a shaky second half for Andrew Walter. The Raiders making all sorts of mistakes. And the backup quarterback, Marcus Tuiasopo, is warming up. Carr from the 10. And he goes down at the 25, a 14-yard return. Mark Roman with the tackle. What's going on with T.O. and Philly? Here's J.B. Hey, Gus, I know you're a basketball king as well. Take a look here. Philadelphia trailing 21-17. Donovan goes up top for a six-point basket, if you will. 87 yards to Hank Basket. 
He takes it to pay dirt. McNabb's 10th touchdown of the season. Philly on top by three late in the third. Back to Gus and Steve. Hank Basket, Hank Basket such a great story. Undrafted rookie out of San Diego State who was traded from the Vikings to the Eagles this season. And now he's making big plays for Donovan McNabb. First down and 10 at the 26. And Marcus Tuias is so bad to the interception. Wow. Ron Harris, second pick of the day. That one deflected at the line of scrimmage. It's gone from bad to worse for the Oakland Raiders. Manny Lawson. Not only did he come up with a block punt today, he deflected that ball at the line of scrimmage. You're watching, that's right, too. Yasusopo gets this pass off, but it's blocked and flutters right into the waiting arms of Walt Harris. And it, things are going from bad to worse now, Gus, and that's what happens in the NFL. If something bad happens, it can steamroll and snowball in a big hurry. First down and 10 at the 30-yard line. Handed to Gore, and Gore dropped immediately by Terdell Sands. And you'll see this, Gus. In this second half, it's all been San Francisco. They've already got 17 points off the three turnovers that have happened. Block, punt, interception, interception. That's a lot of points. And they've also got a fumble and an interception in their five possessions it could not have gone more wrong for the silver and black second and ten Gore again and Gore down at the 30 Matt Leinert making his first start as the quarterback of the Cardinals. Here's JB in New York. Hey, Gus, KC and Arizona each looking for its second victory of the season. But take a look at Damon Hewitt here of Kansas City hooking up 15 yards there to Sammy Parker to pull within three of Arizona. 20 to 17, 553 left in regulation. Back to Gus and Steve. All right, JB, 31 to 13 here. Matt Leinert. Doing a good job, and the Raiders passed up on Matt Liner because they feel, or they felt, that Andrew Walter was the quarterback that uh, they needed. They didn't need to draft another quarterback. It's Gore. He's running, and he stood up and dropped at the 32. Kirk Morris in there. And, you know, Gus, we could sit up here and, and put a hammer on, you know, Andrew Walter. I'm not ready to do that. I think the guy can play. I really do. And you can say what you want. I mean, this game's gotten out of hand the other direction. He threw one bad interception and then the bad lateral pass. I think the guy can play, and I think the Raiders are right to put some faith in him. And plus, in defense of the Raiders, and I don't want to, I'm not trying to sugarcoat this, you don't know if Matt Liner's going to be good, and you're going to have to pay $50 million to find out. I like Andrew Walter, and Art Shell's got a lot of things on his plate. I don't think quarterback is the only one he's got to fix. Joe Netney in to attempt a 49-yard field goal, and it's up. And no good. He hooked it. 8.03 to play in the fourth. By rule, the ball be played. 31-13, San Francisco. Savoy Daytime Drama presents The Rapa. Mm. This place is good. Mm -hmm. This sandwich is good. Mm. Even the wrapper is good. Yeah! Paula! And now, Subway Restaurant. New premium steak sandwiches are the taste everyone's hollering for. Like the black and Cajun steak and the new steak and cheese. Subway, eat steak! Shall we raise our shields, Captain? At ease, Mr. Chekhov. Again with the shields. I wish he'd just relax and enjoy the amazing picture clarity of the DirecTV HD we just hooked up with what Starfleet just ponied up for this big screen TV, settling for cable would be illogical. <clears throat> what, I can't use that line? For picture quality that beats cable, you've got to get Direct TV. It's too small, car's too small. Auto claustrophobia, it's taken a devastating toll, but its days are numbered thanks to the all new Nissan Versa. 
Versa treats small car symptoms with best-in-class interior space. Now this is roomy. Versa lets you be carefree and hands-free with Bluetooth technology. I like that. Versa will help you take control of auto claustrophobia today. Ask your Nissan dealer if Versa is right for you. Oh, you're so cute. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by GEICO, where 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by DirecTV. There's good TV, there's better TV, and then there's DirecTV. It's Fleet Week this week in San Francisco. Had a chance to see the Blue Angels yesterday. I heard as I walked <laughs> along the Embarcadero. And there they are. There they are. First down and 10 at the 39. Marcus Tuiasasopo in the game. At quarterback for Oakland. They pulled Andrew Walter to Yasopo. Pulls it down. Now scrambles and gets out of bounds close to midfield. Because you talk about how things have gone south last week. The Raiders jumped out early to on the Cleveland Browns. Picked up the fumble. Ran it in. That's Williams. Who comes runs it in. Of course, Lamont Jordan ran wild over 100 yards rushing. Then the Browns with three unanswered touchdowns to win the football game. This last one to Joe Jerovicious. They talk it over and it ends up counting. And this week is no different. They've been outscored 64 to three in the second half of their games this year. That's unbelievable. Draw play, Lamont Jordan. And Jordan keeps his feet moving, gets inside the 40. Derek Smith with the tackle. Why do you pull, why do you pull? Marcus Tuias, I mean, uh, excuse me, Andrew Walter. Andrew Walter for Marcus Tuias Sopo. I don't, unless they're worried about him staying healthy, Gus, I don't think you pull him. And he had one bad interception. That may be. But I'll tell you what, if you want that guy to be your future, he needs to learn a lot of football, a lot of good football in the fourth quarter, some bad games. Tuias Sopo throwing a nice ball, and that one is caught by Curry. Curry gets all the way down to the seven yard line. A 30-yard gain, Mike Adams with the tackle. And I, I think that Andrew Walter showed enough today not only to earn another start next week, but to be a guy that you think is going to get better. I mean, let's face it, this is the second start of his career. He played very well without those inter the one interception, and I, I just I think you leave him in and let him learn from it. First down and goal at the 8-yard line. And a timeout call. Timeout, San Francisco, second team timeout. Will be a 30-second timeout. Mike Mike Nolan ran all the way down the field to call that one. Coming up, time permitting, after the game, the Subway postgame show. Join JB, Dan, Shannon, and Boomer for all the latest NFL scores and highlights. That's all coming up on the Subway postgame show. Mike Nolan continuing to build this franchise back to you know, get back in the race. I mean, let's face it, last year the 49ers looked a lot like the Raiders do today. But it seems as though the Niners bottomed out and they have started to climb back. They are looking better and better, despite what happened last week. And it, I know it's easy for me sitting up in the booth to look at the Niners and dismiss a 41 to nothing loss. But the reason I do that, I've been in Arrowhead Stadium and I know how it can, it can go against <laughs> you. And that's out of control. Yeah. This Niner team, I think, is doing the right stuff. I mean, they are they're on the right path. They've got the right guys. They're young offensively. They may be a one or two or three players away defensively. But I think Mike Nolan has got it on track. He's got a good coaching staff here and a good organization that they've built. They've also got seven picks in the first four rounds of the 2007 draft. So they're going to get better help next year as well. First down and goal at the eight-yard line. Juliasa Sopo standing in the end zone. Touchdown. Courtney Anderson, the tight end. And Marcus Tuiasasopo jumps off the bench, throws an interception on the next series. He leads him right down the field. That was an outstanding throw and a nice catch in the back corner of the end zone by the 6'6 tight end out of San Jose State. Watch him tightrope this. And you know, he's a tall guy and has to reach all the way up there for that. What a great catch. So Sebastian Janikowski comes in to attempt the extra point. It 
it's up and good four plays 61 yards and Tuyasa Sopo leads him down the field in a minute and 40 seconds and that says a lot the first touchdown in the second half of any game they played this season and Gus that's you know I, all you can say is hey it's an improvement Walter alone with his thoughts on the Raiders bench now the Raiders look up and once again as they have for a good part of the season they're going to ask their defense to get a stop here with 623 left give them a chance to get the ball back and see what happens you know you just don't have a choice Gus that's why you're a professional football player you got to keep playing until that final gun sounds and the Raiders are up against it their defense has got to step up get the football back and keep battling you don't pull out of an abyss like the Raiders are in right now unless you start playing better and it starts in at this point of the game a lot of times so the Raiders will send it away 31 to 20. Still a lot of time remaining in this game, especially if the Raider defense can get a three and out and allow Marcus Tuyasa Sopo to go to work once again. And I think the, the Niners have got okay. their hands Not team on the field. They got a lot of defensive backs, a couple of tight ends up close to the ball, They're expecting maybe it's onside kick, and it looks like they're going to get one from Janikowski. And now the Niners take a timeout, timeout. to set up for it. San Francisco, it. third and final team timeout. It will be a 30-second timeout. Tonight on 60 Minutes, who's getting stopped by airport security these days? A lot of people, all because of their names. Is your name on the list? Plus, the two men, the two women, rather, at the center of the Hewlett Packard story. Only on 60 Minutes, followed by new episodes of The Amazing Race, Cold Case, and Without a Trace. Tonight on CBS, again this season, America's most watched network. I think right now you'll see the Niners. They've replaced a couple of more guys. They're going to have all wide receivers and defensive backs, guys with good hands up on the front line, ready to take this kick. And you always work on this stuff on Fridays. In fact, we saw the Niners working on their onside kick return on Friday. And I think, Gus, the thing you've got to do on an onside kick, you've got to attack the ball if you're receiving team. Go get it. Don't wait for it to come to you. And if it's a tough, going to be a tough catch, reach up and bat it out of bounds. The Niners just need to get the ball out of bounds, get loose, don't let the Raiders get a chance at it. And you'll see the Niners will step over the line on the 40-yard line that they're standing on. They'll step toward the Raiders and knock them off their pursuit and let the guy behind them catch the football. Niners should be very should be well prepared rather for this play because they practice it for a while on Friday. They pop it up in the air. Oh, Antonio Bryant with the recovery. And he'll remember it because Justin Fargus knocked him almost out. Wow, Fargus. That's why it's a train wreck because that was a big hit, a completely legal hit. That's what you're supposed to do. Antonio Bryant knows it. it's a great kick by Janikowski, high arc. And bang. Let's that's, listen and watch. Full speed. That's a special teams play right there. Ooh. That's hard plastic hitting hard plastic. Bryant, a tough man, gets up and gets off to the sideline. Tell you what, man, that's you got to make plays like that. It's not the easiest part of the game. It's not even the funnest, but it's one you can take great pride in. First down at the 43. Smith rolling out of the pocket, throws to Gore, makes the catch, and he's out of bounds at the 35. Did he get out of bounds? They did, they did not stop the clock on the field. Yeah, they did stop it. Namdi Asamoa with the tackle. Yeah, there was a confusion. They stopped the game clock. Now they wound it. Now they wound it. It's interesting because the official on the near side just held his arm up to spot the ball. He did not call for the clock to be stopped. It did stop on the game clock, and then the Niners bench brought it to his attention, and he wound it again. Second down and short. 
Here's a handoff for. Spins down, gets to the 31. Tyler Brayton with the tackle, a gain of three. But how about Norv Turner? You knew he would be a factor. We talked about it at the beginning of our telecast. And he has really timeout brought Oakland. some. Second team timeout will be a 30 second timeout. He's really brought some great balance to this 49ers team. 151 rushing yards, 165 passing yards and there's take a look at his record that's the improvement you see this year they're 98 yards of total offense every game that are better and you know you think of my run of the family you look over oh he did the same thing with other teams his brother ron turner is the offensive coordinator for this year's chicago bears team so in fact his brother ron recruited me to play college football at northwestern university they talk every day he said he was going to talk to ron tonight he'll have they'll both have a lot to talk about well, the Chicago Bears pounded the Buffalo Bills today. Almost hung a half a hundred on them. All right, 40 all right. to something. I hear what you. What happened to your boys? They got their heads handed to them. <laughs> First down and 10. Well, the Bears have been doing that lately. Did the same thing to Seattle last week. At 31. Handed off Gore. And how about Frank Gord? This kid has been really great today, and he's struggled. He's had some problems holding on to the football, but today, maybe one of his best games, if not his best game overall. 26 carries, 126 yards, and that's rushing. Three catches, 38 yards receiving. Yeah, we talked to him yesterday, and that's the big topic in San Francisco is about Gore's fumbling it's been a big issue and you know you think well gosh he's got to think about holding on to the football more and he told us something interesting for he goes you know I, I gotta think less <laughs> exactly I'm, I gotta I'm, I'm good I just need to think less and go out and play I gotta quit <laughs> thinking about everything and just go out and play he says I'm best when I don't think about anything and it was like a discovery for him he said you know <laughs> I can't think and play at the same time that's right and he, I'll tell you and there's like that. there have been some great athletes that have come up with that philosophy, Yogi Berra. That's right. That's right. One in particular. And he is a guy. Can't hit and think at the same time. That's right. And uh, today he has really shown that he's got a bright future. Second and nine. Gore again. And Gore chopped down at the 22 by Schweigert. But Gore continuing to rack up the yards. Gains eight there, 134 yards rushing on 27 carries. He's looking like a fantasy league guy. Oh, yeah. That may fool a lot of people if you have him on your fantasy league team today. Pick him up. Scored big, <laughs> although he didn't score a touchdown. Yeah. You see there, 130 yards, that's his career high. And you think about these two teams coming in here today, I mean, their proximity to each other is, is obvious. I mean, they're just across the bay. You could almost, it seems like you could hit a golf ball from one stadium to the other. Mike Robinson checks in for Gore. Here's Robinson. And Robinson, no gain on the play. Hawthorne with the tackle, 425 and counting. And that'll bring up fourth down and one. And it looks like they're going to take all the time they want, let the play clock either run down and call a timeout, or maybe wait for a measurement here. Now they neither one neither club now has a timeout left because of the review that was asked for by the Raiders. They don't have any left. So we're going to get a time, an official's timeout to measure. Joe Netney warming up on the San Francisco sideline. This is well within his range. It'd be a 40 yard kick if they try it. And they are short. So here comes Netney onto the field. He missed a 49 yarder earlier, but had plenty of distance. Number seven. Oh. So this is a 40-yard field goal. 
this Andy one. Lee the holder. This makes it obviously just two touchdown difference in the game. Gets it up. And good. 39 yards officially. And the 49ers take a 34 to 20 lead. For those of you expecting to see 60 minutes, you're watching the National Football League on CBS and the game between the Raiders and the San Francisco 49ers. I'm Gus Johnson along with Steve Tasker. Our score is 34 to 20. The Niners lead the Raiders. 60 minutes will be seen in its entirety immediately following this game, except on the West Coast. You see there. Aaron Brooks, the quarterback, we saw the Baltimore game where he was injured on a fumbled snap, and that's when Andrew Walter started taking snaps for the Raiders. That was a, a game when he came in off the bench, then he started last week, in the, or then they went into the bye week, and then he started against Cleveland the next week. And, and I'll tell you guys, he's played pretty well, I think, Andrew Walters. You forget somehow that it's he's young, and... You're kind of expecting a lot of great things from him, but let's face it, it's only his second start of his career. And once again, too, I, we talked about this earlier, Gus. I, I don't know why he's not in the game. That is a... I mean, I know that Tuyasa Sopo threw for the touchdown, but I think Andrew Walter is a guy that needs to be in as much football as he can be. Carr from the one. And Carr goes down fast. Chad Williams with the tackle on special teams after a 16-yard return. Coming up, time permitting, after the game, the Subway postgame show. Join JB, Dan Shannon, and the Boom for all the latest NFL scores and highlights. That's all coming up on the Subway postgame show. So the Raiders start. At their own 19-yard line, 3.44 to go. Marcus Tuiasasopo steps up in the pocket over the middle, incomplete. And I'll tell you what, Gus, Tuiasasopo is looking for his receiver there. James Atkinson, Atkinson, the intended receiver. He thinks he's going to take the touchdown angle, which means he's headed for the end zone. Atkinson cuts this off flat. You see Tuyasa Sopo is trying to throw that deep. And Atkinson breaks it across in front of Roman. And Tuyasa Sopo is not happy about it. Second down and 10 at the 19. Here's Tuiasa Sopo again to pass. In trouble. Scrambles out of the pocket. Throws intended for Lamont Jordan. Incomplete. Derek Smith right behind him for the 49ers. Yeah, you know, this is... Now it's going to get rough here because there's no chance that the Raiders are going to hand this football off. Yeah, they know Tuiasa Sopo is going to throw it every down. And then he starts getting away from the pressure and tries to unload that to Jordan. Just throws it over his head. And if you keep doing that, Gus, he's going to throw an interception, too. you got to throw that thing where nobody is. That one was right down the middle of the defense. Third down, 10 at the 19-yard line. Tuyasa Sopo looking over the middle, and it's caught at the 25. And once again, it's... Atkinson tackled by Mark Roman and I wonder you know the, the logic behind having that guy sit on the bench I mean this is a game that's still going on you're gonna if you're gonna particularly gonna throw throw this ball around like this and the three minutes left in the game and he's been out for the last three unless series he, unless he's injured yeah I can see that if he's there we haven't gotten any word that he's injured or of any shot any kind I think it's just, um, and I don't think that he was under, under any duress like it was, they were worried about his safety. And over the middle again. This time Curry makes the grab in front of Mike Adams. 
And you wonder, too, sometimes they'll take a young quarterback out, maybe for self-preservation. They're worried about him getting taken too many sacks or getting a hit that's going to put him out of the game later. I don't think that was the case with the Raiders. And I just, I just think it's the wrong thing to do to set a young guy down who needs to learn out in a game like this. Over the middle, incomplete. Anderson, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down and ten. And Tuiasa Sopo, a guy who, who is an athlete and a guy who can, who can move around as, as is Aaron Brooks, you see there with a headphone on, listening to play calls. We don't know when Brooks will be back. He has that pec injury. Tuiasa Sopo breaking out of the pocket, wants to throw it. And it's intercepted. Walt Harris, the hat trick. Three interceptions for Walt Harris on the day. And the Raiders turn it over for the fifth time. I guess as we travel around the league and talk to different players, great players, guys who have made it and guys who haven't made it or are trying to make it. We sat down with Peyton Manning and he looked at us and after his third or fourth year when he had become one of the great quarterbacks in the league. He said, you know, I learned an awful lot of good football in the fourth quarter of some bad games in my rookie year. And this is a chance the Raiders have to learn from all of this. Harris with a career high three interceptions. So the 49ers came into this game with no interceptions this season. One of three teams. Detroit and Denver the other two. And Walt Harris picks off three balls. And flag on the play. That's going to be a penalty. That's going to be a penalty. Guess what happened was the Niners had 12 guys in their huddle. They realized they had 12 guys on the field. They ran one off. It's illegal. You can't line up with 12 men in the huddle even though it was unintentional. They don't have any choice but to call that penalty to get the Red Niners had no chance to get out of it unless they rehuddled and they couldn't do that. They didn't have time. And Sands walking to the sideline. He is shaken up a bit, grabbing his left wrist. There's no foul on the play. 49ers only had 10 men on the field. Now we have the two minute warning. Uh -huh, they didn't have 12 guys. They only had 10. No foul. Two minutes remaining in the fourth. Back after this. Who's faster, Sprint Mobile Broadband or Singular's Edge? Sprint Mobile Broadband gives you the power to download five times faster than Singular's Edge. Work faster with Sprint Mobile Broadband. Get a free mobile broadband card. Visit Sprint.com slash mobile broadband. Mm. Oh, sorry. I use all of his chains for the new 99 cent KFC Ultimate Cheese Snacker. KFC Snackers now come with cheese? And they're still only 99 cents? All right. Looks like we got a snacker backer here. Introducing the new Ultimate Cheese Snacker from KFC. 100% chicken breast smothered in a blend of cheddar and Swiss topped with crisp lettuce freshly prepared on a sesame seed bun. And like the original KFC Snacker, it's only 99 cents. Now your dollar goes further at KFC. How long is this thing? Uh, I don't know. Now come on, get to the good stuff. Oh, stop, stop. There it is. Oh, that's it. Wait, wait, here it comes, here it comes. Nice. Look at that. I could watch that all day. One more time? Sure. Hot, young, sexy, Miami supermodels have it all, but looks can kill. Modeling is suddenly the most dangerous job in Miami. Walt Harris, three interceptions against the Oakland Raiders. 
And the Niners lead it 34 to 20. With two minutes to go in this football game. Some great individual performances. Alex Smith, Walt Harris, Frank Gore. Doing terrific jobs. Arnez battle, two touchdown receptions. They hand it off. And this is Robinson. Now don't forget, coming up next week on CBS, a doubleheader. Some of you will see Houston and Dallas, Cincinnati at Tampa, Tennessee at Washington, or the Bills at the Lions. And the late games, pretty good as well. And it all starts with the NFL Today, starring JB, Dan Shannon, and Boomer. Mike Nolan must feel pretty good on the sideline. He gave up 41 points last week. He came back this week at home, scoring 34. Third down at six. And Robinson running. Yeah. Robert Thomas brings him in. Love it. Our practice this week, Mike Nolan put the Niners in pads for two days and had them hitting a little bit and after 41 to nothing you can understand that there were a few scuffles in practice the guys were the emotions were running a little high they don't guys do not like to lose 41 to nothing and they started taking it out on each other a little bit during practice and now you know for the first time today Gus Andy Lee gets to go to do his job <laughs> first punt of the day for the Niners how about that you know it's been a good day He's held on seven kicks. Little delay of game penalty here on the punt unit. You see that more than any other unit, Gus. They do that to give the punter five more yards, plus run out that last second on the clock, and you really don't care that the five yards are given up because you guys are going to kick it inside the 20 anyway, and it gives them that much more room to do it. Sometimes you'll see teams actually decline that penalty. So Lee will punt it away from the 43 yard line. Chris Carr back deep. Wants to just pop this one in the air, and he does. End over end kick, Aussie style. And it's downed at the 10 yard line with 21 seconds to go. So the San Francisco 49ers will improve their record to two and three. Raiders remain winless. Tough job for that man. Mike Nolan is starting to come together here on the other side of the bay. Uh, but they've had longer to work on it. No question about it. But with the things on the horizon, they're in much better cap shape. With the salary cap are the 49ers. As I said earlier, they've got seven picks in the next draft. They've got a number of draft picks that are on this club that made this club this year. They're starting to get their stamp and their thumbprint on this squad, and Mike Nolan's got to be happy about it. Mike Jordan running the football, and he goes out of bounds. Ten-yard gain, make it a 15-yard gain. So, good performances if you look on the San Francisco side by Frank Gore. Not only did he rush for over 100 yards, 27 carries, 134 yards. He came into this game having fumbled in each of the last four games. No fumbles today for the young man. Second year out of Miami. Randy Moss catches his 100th career touchdown receptions. reception. And here's... Jordan again, and that'll do it as Smith wraps him up. San Francisco 34, Oakland 20. Right. 34 to 20, the final. Don't forget, coming up tonight on CBS, it's 60 minutes plus new episodes of The Amazing Race, Cold Case, and Without a Trace. 49ers rebound after losing in Kansas City last week. They win it 34 to 20. For Steve Tasker, I'm Gus Johnson saying so long from San Francisco. Let's go to James Brown in New York. People could save hundreds of dollars on car insurance by switching to GEICO. It says here, 
New customers report average annual savings of over $500. Mm -hmm. Easy money. Easy money. I mean, you do have to go to Geico.com. <laughs> Which is like what? Asking you to stand up? Hello, Dad. You, you know, if you stand up, you could save loads of money. I doubt you're going to be like, no thanks, I'm so rich, I think I'll keep my seat. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And now... Here's the Geico play of the day. The Indianapolis Colts trailed the Tennessee Titans 13-7 in the fourth quarter when Peyton Manning connected with Reggie Wayne on a two-yard touchdown to take the lead.